Hello and welcome to Accounting Hub. I'm Professor George Scarping, PhD in Accounting, and our topic today is two simple t-tests, e assuming equal variance. So we will be using the Excel function plus the Excel analysis to part. And here we will not go to the theory about the t-test. We have a video about that on our playlist about hypothesis testing. So check it there. So when do we use it? When the assumption of equal population variance is met for the two sample t-tests with equal variance. And then the t-tests, we don't assume that they are normal. We don't need a large sample. So that is a very good test to go. And then we use either this, this formula. Uh, we will be explaining that later. Or the Excel tool pack or the Excel analysis two pack procedure for not only two sample tests, but one sample one, uh, or for two sample hypothesis tests. Yes, not two tails. So two sample, sample A, sample B. And we have five options. The one that we will be working with is the third. Two sample tests for means variance unknown, assumed equal. So Excel, T-test, to sample assuming equal variance. So here, let's go to our Excel file. Remember, the Excel file is free and the link to download it is in our video description. So here I collect a sample of revenues from Delta Airlines, so real numbers here, and two samples, the first semester and the second semester separated by quarters. So here we have, they don't need to be equal, so they can be unbalanced. And here for the sample, this is the average. And this is the variance. So, okay, the variance, they are quite equal. So, 90, so the one is 96% of the other one. So, they are Good. And then if the variance of this sample is equal, probably the variance of the population is equal. So that's why we assume equal variance. So, okay. First, with the analysis two pack, data, data analysis. What if your Excel has no data analysis? You go on file, options. Addings, Excel Addings, Go, Excel Toolpack. Okay? So here, analysis, uh, t-test to sample assuming equal variance. Okay? Let's delete this. Delete this. So this is the standard. Variable, oh, now this is the standard. Variable one range, the first semester. Don't select empty cells and so on. So here, the first one. The second one, don't select until 21. Okay. You can leave it blank. Labels, then the first is a label. Where? New worksheet. We don't want it on new worksheet. We want it here on the E6, for instance. And okay. Perfect. Now let's assume that we are adding the B21. So we just select the two, the same. And then let's go on here. Uh, let's see, yes, now the Excel, well, fix it that. It, it, so if your Excel is the new one, the 365, no problem. If your Excel is old, then it will give you 20 observations at the last one as a zero. Okay. So let's delete it. What do we have? The mean. Wow. Good. The variance. Good. And then P-test one tail. Our yellow. Yeah, so the one tail, the first semester, the average is lower than the second semester. So our first hypothesis is if the first semester is 
uh, equal or, or is higher or equal than the second semester. If we reject it, then the first semester is lower. So here we, one asterisk here, fail to reject. So no, they are not statistically lower than the second semester. So we fail to reject. And okay, two tails. Now, if they are the same. Uh, so here, uh, if they are the same or not. So here, let's go to the green. We also fail to reject. So they are not different. So here, two asterisks fail to reject as well. So, man, these numbers are the same. They are not either lower or different. Uh, and here, why we fail? Because if you go back here, our alpha or our significance is 95%. So the alpha is 0 0.05. So for us to reject it, this P must be lower than 0 0.05. And there is another way to find the p-value with this formula. Equal T test. What is the R1? It's the first array. So the first data without label. Comma. The second. Comma. One or two. Is it a one-tail or two-tail test? It is one. And then, period, no, because they are unbalanced. Two sample equal or unequal variance. It is equal variance. There, there is a video about unequal as well on the playlist, so check it out later. And here, 0 0.20. Let's go with the yellow here. And here they don't, sometimes they will not match perfectly because the two pack rounds some numbers. So here matches perfectly. Okay, so this t-test formula is more accurate, but the difference will be on the fifth, sixth, seventh decimal, so it will not change your fail or not fail to reject a zero. Okay, and then the two tail, let's copy and paste this one. And the only difference is on the, on this parameter, the first and the third pa parameter that is two tail test, the 0 0.4. So here the 0 0.4. Easy, huh? Easy when you know that. So guys, thank you so much. Questions or comments, leave them here or email me at skarpin.gmail.com. Have a very nice day and God bless you.